when joining the server you want to look at the two factions that you're going to be playing as so in this instance going to be the marines versus russian just look at their uh, uniforms and so when you get onto the field you can distinguish who's friendly who's enemy and you can shoot them without looking at the map So when I choose a role, it's dependent on the map. Um, I would like to try to get heavy uh, anti-tank as quick as possible. If I'm not able to get it, I'll get light, light anti-tank. And if that gets taken, then I would do what's uh, necessary for the squad, such as medic or rifleman for the AT. You the one to kill us? <laughs> I hope not. I saw a kill TK a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Yeah, we all saw it. Yeah, I saw it on Discord. Yeah, I did that. To be fair, when I called it, there was nobody on point. And we had like 20 tickets left. And then our entire team decided to recap for once in their goddamn lives. So whenever you know which um, layer you're on, and once you get your vehicle and you're still in the staging phase, you can go to uh, squad lanes. Uh, choose your map, choose your layer, choose the team you're on, choose the first flag. Sometimes uh, the first flag couldn't show you, not necessarily on Narva, but on other maps, the first flag could show you what lane you'd be going to. Um, for sure on the second map, on the second uh, flag it will show it being on the far east side the most common uh, push for the enemy armor would be all of these this main highway the railroad and this south main road the BTRs or Tigers usually push up on these three roads. Kind of uh, thinking to myself to ask squad leader to try to get some uh, light vehicles, just in case we had to uh, encounter their tigers or whatever. But usually on Narva, several infantry squads get left out. Either uh, there's not enough lodges or um, armored, so they'll take the tigers. If you're an infantry uh, squad, don't be afraid to ask armor for a ride. Word. So right there, what I did was just checking the armor. Yeah, that's what happens. Word. So I'm just checking to see what armor they have. Uh, the most uh, common you'll be coming against will be the BTR 80s. Um, right here, it will say our tank has a respawn in 13 minutes. It will be the same for their tank as well. Uh, I can't hear you. Okay, I'll come in. 
Let me turn up local chat. So what they're talking about in this uh, Humvee is there's an engineer inside, and the gunner was just asking if you wanted to stick with him or go with the rest of the squad. Usually, uh, engineers would take the light vehicles oh, really just for him. the extra ammo for their mines. Oh, word. Also, yeah, probably. Strategic command online. So, squad leader putting his mark down uh, where he's heading to. Uh, for Russians, and I guess for the the blue four train um, apartment area. Uh, I believe also over here, sometimes quarry would be where the Russians would like to set up in the beginning, even also over here. Where's the goddamn Nazis, bro? Let me out. Wait, I thought, I thought we were the Nazis. If you are on the Russian side, you can uh, get into the water with the Lodgy. Uh, I believe starting here uh, and starting here. You can get in the... Uh, Lodgy into the water um, after these points. Uh, all this right here in the dark, you cannot, you will blow up the vehicle unless you're amphibious vehicle like the BTR. Uh, the reason I'm letting you know this is in case uh, the most common tactic for engineers would be to put mines on these bridges. So if you are able to cross the first bridge, say down here, you could take the water instead of taking the second bridge. They can, engineers can mine this uh, first bridge right here. So I was just thinking to myself, try to stick with AT, even though I'm not Rifleman. If they were to go down and I'm close enough, I could try to pick them up. Oh. Of course, you don't want to be uh, hugging with them. Just uh, stay back, right maybe 30 or so meters, yeah, just right. in case they get splash damage from a BTR or something. Hell yeah. And once those BTRs roll past, you could pick up the AT. Free wireless for you. So that I was saying earlier where a squad always gets left out in the beginning, try to leave them a light vehicle or have them ask for armor to give them a ride. I'm kidding, I don't got that type of power. Damn. I think you are full. So with us heading towards this uh, refinery area, the two main armor uh, pushes will be on this railroad or on the south main road would it be the most common in this area if I was squad leader I would tell AT and riflemen to start uh, getting their rockets ready usually the railroad would be the most common and then have some other infantry look at the south main road if you stand I believe somewhere right here you get on the wall and you can see towards the southeast side.
swear to God, there was a bigger warehouse here somewhere. To your north. Oh, behind you. Oh. Thanks. So I'm just looking out for armor, either Tiger, Logi, or BTRs. Also, auditory cues. You could get on you could get on the roof up here or even on the silos, but I would assume the armor would be looking there already. So try to find another uncommon place where you can jump north. onto. Try to BTR get a height. Yep. BTR on so the I paused now. there because second flag popped up and I was on the squad lane map. Checking to see what lane it is, and it does show that it will be on this far east side. I don't even want to drop a radio here. I don't think it's worth it. No, it's going to go far northeast towards Castle. It's yeah. going north of the intersection to the other bridge. Alright, BTRs are uh, at the other bridge north. Alright, BTR parked at the bridge north. Alright, it's heading more north now. Uh, infantry, infantry uh, south. South of us? Yeah, on Charlie. So, if I was squad leader, I would just get my infantry back in the lodgy and start heading to the far northeast side just to start getting ready for the third, fourth flag areas. Um, this machine gunner did see infantry, so I believe the squad leader here just uh, just wanted to get I'm some kills for before we pushed out. Yeah, it's just a uh, like a LT AT squad. I'll mark it for the bit. I killed one. There's one more. So being medic doesn't mean you can't fight, you can still spot and fight, but if people start going down you need to uh, prioritize yourself to healing them instead of focusing hey, on firefights. No, I just heard about it. Oh fuck, uh, whatever type of vehicle headed our way. Never mind, I think it's ours. Fuck it. yeah. Oh yeah, there's a tiger yeah, that tours us on the south. It. So... When someone marks a light vehicle, there are two types of light vehicles. You either have your open top, where you can shoot the gunner out, or your closed top. So whenever you see a light vehicle, try to call it out, open top tiger or closed top. That's got the hat in it. Open top. Nice. He smoked him, he's dead. Oh my god, his body just went flying. Why are flying? <laughs> that was the whole squad. Are you sure? So, this squad leader in his lodgy, he had his construction. Are you sure? He had his construction 12 uh, 18. Uh, that's how normally I would yeah, also set it up. You could get uh, three fobs set up. This is a lot. For a conventional, such as the uh, Marines, uh, 500 would be for HAB, 100 for the ammo crate, and then ammo crate. And then if you want several ammo crates, maybe two or 300 more uh, construction for more ammo crates. Freedom bullet. So the squad leader being to me my opinion being too slow if he was going to get his uh half set up he should already place it down uh usually the main uh areas would be where our warehouse is or the southern one would be the most main place to put halves um he should have had a half here and he should have started moving uh more putting extra halves just along the way instead of being hesitant in the beginning of the game Oh shit, uh, about uh, 150 meters.
meters east, past the silos here, on D6. Oh, so they're calling out infantry north, north on these uh, north silo areas. Um, usually the most common, I guess we do once I see the big map shot. again. Don't give up on my way. Not for now. No, he... I mean, he was like, just until next <laughs> I really don't have anywhere else to go. 40 meters north. So usually the most common would be these uh, compounds over here or towards quarry. Or towards quarry would usually be the most common hat placements no the Russians would put down. Don't go too far, though. Yeah, once we... So... There's a village compound all the way over here, and then there's like a little factory over here, and the quarry. Those three areas would be the most common haps placements. So that was kind of quick. I think I hear tracks to the. So over here, this building, these three are common uh, places for the Russians to put haps up, and that's where I'm assuming they're. Uh, that's where the infantry are coming from. That's a tank coming up on the far east. On your left. Never mind, he tried. He tried. Remember, as a medic, uh, if you have multiple down teammates, pick up one at a time and start giving him heals. If you just pick them up one at a time without healing them all the way, they are in a dead dead state. And if they get shot, then they die instantly. They will have a red icon on the bottom right of the screen. And they, it won't go away until they're 100% healed. So pick up a guy, give him 100% health, then move to the next guy. All right, there should be another guy. Like and of course, you need to prioritize, prioritize the type of kits you pick up. So if it was a medic that was down, uh, AT, uh, pick those guys up first, AT, and then the rifleman, machine gunners. Where that big is at? Man, I just shot it. I got Charlie. 113 past the lake to uh, 113. He's on the little hill, looks like oh, a marksman. Yeah, so normally, I wouldn't uh, shoot at this distance. Yep, yep. 400 meters. Just try to suppress them. Plus. Like 4.5. And honestly, this is just a waste for our, our team. We should have been okay, moving out a long time ago. Even if we died along the way. Maybe we could have seen uh, their hab or something. Uh, what I'm doing right here is uh, you can do uh, kind of like parkour on squad. If you're at a high uh, building and you need to get down quick, you could uh, jump down and you need to grab the ledge. Your character could grab the ledge and then he just jumps onto like wall or this crate instead of walking down the stairs. Of course, I miss. The said, uh, same thing can be with the buildings, like if you're in an apartment building and you're on the top floor, if you want to get down, you just jump out the window and then look towards the windows and jump into the window again. Yeah. Depending on the size of the window, if your uh, character is oh. able to jump through. God damn, that motherfucker lasering me back. So, I know there is a down guy or a bleeding guy. But squad leader just got in the vehicle, and honestly, we're not relevant in this area. So even if he dies, I'm not worried right. about it. Anybody here, let's load up in the lodge. See if we can get to apartments. Wow. Yeah, I'm out from the bubble. So what I was saying in the beginning, um, you need to set up your habs as quickly right. as possible here, in the beginning the of the see the game. The, the enemies wow. have no in the beginning of the fate. Uh, the game they have there's no habs anywhere for the enemy so you would try to push somewhere in the middle get your habs set up just in case it was on this far north middle or south lane um, try to get as much habs you can set up in the middle of the map so whatever the third uh, flag actually shows up if there is a hab that's still active close enough to get to the next flag instead of us needing to move Andrews, are you alright? Yeah, yeah, this guy went down. He keeps catching yeah, haircuts. So like I'm saying, the squad leader is taking too long to get uh, to a more relevant area.
And a BTR or a Tiger could easily roll up onto Something us like and kill us. Where are you boys? You on the roof or something? No, we're coming in yeah, now. Yeah, we're coming down. So yeah, they probably have a hat on Bravo and Charlie. Uh, yeah, figured, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's kind of useless unless they put mortars there or something. Oh, it is a possible fourth flag. So what I was saying about uh, fourth flag is um since we know old barracks and then it showed uh i think it was apartments that showed this whole area here could be fourth flag and since uh at just died the foundry or any of these over here could be why they had the half set up it's behind us what a rat. okay swerving need a swerve whenever you take shots uh swerve everyone in the back is defenseless you can't shoot back so start swerving Depending on the distance of the shooter. I would never uh, drive on main roads, like uh, middle or end of the game, in case engineers started mining those roads. Of course, in the beginning of the of the match, try to use the stay on the main roads so so your logic could go faster. And set up your habs in the beginning of the game. So I'm just looking throughout, seeing what am I able to do while I'm waiting to spawn in. If something uh, gets marked close to these habs, where I know that's not going to be I'm safe to spawn on them. As soon as we land here. And there goes a mine. Fuck me, never mind. So... Either you could spawn on this hab, get action, or you spawn on this hab and try to quickly get onto apartments since it's the most relevant thing to the team right now. Spawn if no one captures apartments and the enemies get on there and start capping it, then we're already going to be on our second flag as defense. Moving. So if you have friendlies on the flag and they're not capping it already, that means enemies are already on there. And that's why there's no uh, red flash or blue flash because they're neutral right now. If you only had one, if if the Russians were not capturing, the capturing their flag before apartments, then you only need one blueberry or one teammate to start the cap. Now that the enemies are uh, starting to capture it, you need one more body than the enemies. Vehicles are not able to capture flags, they need to get out of the vehicles to get on the cap uh, zone. Lodgy, south? Maybe at the train. Sounds like a Lodgy at train now. So just give audio cues, give it to your uh, squad leader so you can pass the information down. Unless you're FTL, you could just mark it on the map. Oh, enemy lodgy on the road, but it's tracked. Whenever you come to uh, a lodgy, enemy lodgy, 
you can either disable it so the enemies don't have uh, logistics or you can blow it up for the five tickets usually uh, people leave it alive and disable it so their uh, the enemies can't uh, use it but towards the end of the game uh, start blowing up uh, left behind vehicles just for the tickets Heads up, there's probably a lodge near us somewhere. So if this lodge was here, either they got ambushed and they were all killed, or they already set up their hab and they were trying to leave. And I'm assuming this lodge was from that north hab. There is a tracked that lodge on near Medic on the main road. I'm trying to see if I can find a radio. It's probably best in the beginning of the game to blow up the vehicles actually, just in case um, an enemy SL comes over and puts, it, uh, puts a radio down and then has an enemy hab uh, flanking us on the north side. So probably best just to start blowing vehicles up because I'm pretty sure there would be construction in that, that lodging. Start heading south. Watch out, Northwest Apartment of Train, we got a machine gunner. So I don't want to shoot yet, I want to try to get as close to there if they had a hab. Try to get close to the hab before you open fire so you don't give them away. When pushing, uh, if I had to push train, to me, the north side is the easiest. Um, the only thing you have to worry about is these apartments on the west and the east side. But if you're able, if there are no in, in, infantry watching these uh, from these apartments, the north side would be the easiest since inside, um, since inside they cannot see on the north side, they can only see through this east side and then on the second floor. And then, of course, towards the south and the west, uh, like Hinker Doors. So usually north is probably the Watch easiest to the push from. Apartment. And we have marks accurate in F5. I'm just like, we're going to come with me. I'm not trying to get a lot to sit up here. Infantry. Oh, I don't want Seven, cow. Be careful your southeast. There's also one guy south across the road. One down off the road. Your mic's muted, send the cow. can't hear you if you have trouble setting up your mic um, come down here to your sound uh, settings uh, right click sounds make sure your uh, you have your recording your device on come to squad go press escape go to settings and make sure that your audio input output are the same as the one you have on the desktop there's other um, problems that people have with their headsets. Uh, I believe Reddit, uh, Joint Squad Reddit, has the some of the answers. If you Careful try to check out across the road and also the uh, Southwest apartment. But for Squad, whenever you have mic issues, usually you have to restart the game, and then uh, uh, then sometimes your mic would work after you fix the settings. You can't fix your mic during the game. Could you put that in a rally? Thank you. Oh my god.
god, their MBT is gonna run into those mines. I can hear them rolling down the road. There was one guy downhill. I guess they killed him. Uh, Hold on, Papa, I'm gonna kill you. Thanks, man. I hear a tank coming south. No, east, east. So audio cue, listen right, for right. armor or wheels. Yeah, yeah, eyes on. He's in the dude. He's in the east, uh, he just ran into Do a not line. give up. Medics here, do not give up. Some people will automatically give up whenever they get down. Um, you have like a 35, 40 second respawn timer anyway, so might as well stay down, give out call outs. Um, if you hear footsteps or whatever, hear nades being chucked or bandages, or just uh, wait the 30 seconds, see if there's a medic nearby to get you. If you need to drag somebody, crouch, you can pick up from their ankle or from their neck, then you're able to drag them. Um, tell friendlies not to bandage them um, themselves. Tell them to keep their guns up and you can bandage them. I killed two. Of Save your bandage, I'll heal you. Save your bandage, keep your gun up, you're good on health. Keep your gun up, keep your gun up. I'll bandage you up. Taking apartments. Luckily, Squad 4 was able to get a Lodgy. Into train. Hey, Grizzly, that laundry driver behind you might die in a sec. Just hands up. Yep. And there he did. Oh, just kidding. died. Well, oh, they're getting their construction. South. The if you have to unload the lodgy, um, always unload the construction first, not the ammo. If you unload the construction, you're able to get ammo crate or have down. If you just get ammo down, then you can't, and the Lodgy blows up, then uh, the radio is pretty much useless since there's no, nothing, no ammo crate or have set up. Always unload construction, then the ammo. Hold on, don't give up. I'm going to smoke your body. They're in the southern apartment, sounds like. Whenever smoking, try to smoke um, the enemy's line of sight. Um, if you need to smoke yourself, um, how would I describe it? If you have to smoke yourself, try to do it where you can drag, example here, you could drag the body away or they can't see into it. Oh, and the north one as well. If you just smoke yourself, if you just smoke yourself, the enemies can still see into the smoke um, or just uh, blind fire into the smoke. Try to smoke their line of sight. I'll pick you up. And of course, try to always uh, fight on the zone. Whenever you get on zone, try to stay on it. Please, let me drag. Um, either of y'all get a hit on that? Oh, that's a BTR north of us. BTR north on the main road. I was pretty sure that BTR was going to see us. Your BTR is uh, east. It's on the train depot. Don't go out that way. Let's go a different way. So pretty self-explanatory. If you know there's infantry in the windows looking right here, don't keep pushing the same way. Try to flank around either to the south or to the north. Go a little south, I guess. I'm not sure what happened I to our armor. The Either they were mined or killed by better enemy armor. Someone may be in this room. Direct north of us. A rocket.
If you have nothing to do with enemy armor, just hide from it. Don't uh, stick your head out and uh, try to get their attention. Just get uh, uh, get away from their line of sight. There's a BTR to our northeast. Oh, yeah, to our northeast great, infantry. We never found their ADR, right? So that I can only tell that because of the AK noise. They give off a different sound than your uh, M4s. So I'm on it. Right here on the right corner. Maybe two more. Right corner of this yellow building. 340. So, the reason I moved around this hill is these guys would already know to look at this corner where I killed them. So try to flank around and get a different angle that they're not looking at. Nice. Oh, hello. This BTR is burning on the yeah, north. It's going to explode. I'll pick you up. BTR dead. Rod. Awesome. Oh, there's another BTR. Another BTR, possibly. So I keep checking uh, my map for several things. Um, I'm trying to get a quick glance on my northwest northeast side just to see if there's any friendly marks that way if i know um now i know all along to myself is only friendlies if i have to look to my north and i see uh just a, a character um i could just shoot instantly without thinking about their uh, camo their uniform anyone to my north that i see is uh, is an enemy damn they killed our northeast radio they're going to be coming from northeast yeah, soon, they killed man. our radio. So whenever you have a, a radio um, being attacked, once the map shows up, I'll draw it. No, you don't. Once the enemies are on the radio, they will be attacking from that direction. And of course, just seeing Please it now, our defense going down. Our defense going down, you see the red icon, and then on the bottom of the flag, there's a white bar. And if it's full of blue, then your health is, the cap rating is still 100% our side. If it starts going down, that way you can tell the cap status. They may have a rally or a hab to the northwest. There's a group here. Yeah, we need to get so my concern is them having any hab or rallies on this far north side. And I'm just trying to see if there's infantry pouring out of a building and try to find their hat or burn it out. Two at the tree, two at the tree. Hey, what's the cap on uh, apartments? 50. So, when asking about the cap, I'm trying to see whether we're going to get a double neutral because they're 50%, um, 50 down percent on our side. So they still have to neutralize it, whereas we already neutralized it, but we're plus 50% on capping in our side. So I'm trying to hope that with the number of people we have in the flag, depending on how many they have on our defense flag, we're able to cap it before it becomes a double neutral. It may, it may be a double neutral. We do have infantry push on the north side. Um, are we full tick on apartments? Whenever on defense, try to get off the flag, like 100 or so meters off the flag and meet them off. That way you can see what direction they're going to be pushing from. And also if you die, you can spawn back and try to meet them before they get on the zone.
So luckily nice we're shot. able to get it before we got a double neutral. I see why they were building over there. So right here, got a squad mate uh, typing in the squad chat. Um, if you join a server, uh, give a mic check. Just say uh, mic check and then other squad mates or local uh, will say whether you, they hear you or not. So that you don't have this problem while you're mid-match. And then you have to type to your squad. Uh, for me, I'm a slow, uh, I type very slow, so this whole message would take forever for me. If you need to type, um, try to do just like a simple, like uh, you could say northwest, uh, like that instead of typing it the whole words. Try to abbreviate. Okay, let's go get it. So I'm thinking he's going to say like this building right here would be the rally. And I believe 10 meters, and I could be wrong. Um, if you see a rally in the bush, you just run up close to it and it should burn the rally. Here you just see it disappear. Well. Maybe that disabled one from here. And it takes approximately one minute. Every one minute, they're able to respawn uh, on that rally. East, east. So getting shot on the oh, east side, either they had a rally in this building, or maybe this building, or they had a, they came from a hab they set up further north. Nice try. Or they, like in the beginning of the game, there was a lodgy, and they probably put a radio down and got a hab up. They do have a rally to the far north. No lodgy. They have a hab up here. There's a lodgy to my northeast body. Logi coming up towards the soccer field, north side of apartments. So I keep sp spamming my chat because everyone keeps focusing on the south side, possibly because that's where the next flag is and the enemies are coming from that direction. But you can't neglect this whole other side that no one's watching. That's why I keep spamming the columns say, hey, the north side is attacked. There's infantry north side. So keep spamming me your comms to let people know. Either their local chat or they have heavy fire and they can't hear you or uh, distracted. So just keep repeating yourself. Especially when talking to your squad leader, keep uh, spamming whatever information you need to. Either his command comms is uh, flooded or local or squad uh, comms. If you need to get a message out to your squad leader, you could also put it like, Keep uh, talking to him, but try to also put it in squad chat so he can see it as well. Where's the Ammo. Um, whenever you spawn in the hab, you always face looking east. I believe also on rallies, you face looking east. So whenever, I know this is in your way, but you're always facing east. Um, try to get a uh, ammo crate, not necessary, but try to get an ammo crate on the east side because whenever you spawn in, your character is always going to be facing east. They can see the ammo crate, and they don't need to do like uh, a ring around. Try to ammo. find the ammo crate. Logi to the north, towards the soccer field. There's a logi. So again, just relaying my information on the local chat, that guy's just spawned in, so I was just telling him the north, there was a Lodgy over there. They're coming from the north. Nope. Um, this guy here disconnecting because his mic is not working, and in squad, once your mic is not working, most of the time, you have to restart your game. You cannot fix your mic um, during the match. Got footsteps on the east side of apartments, northwest of train. Gotcha. 
So the auditory cues, you need to keep checking your map. Um, Northwest. If you see on your map there's no friendly nearby and you hear footsteps, it's automatically going to be an enemy. So you don't need to hesitate, uh, check friendly fire, just shoot. Watch, I killed two on the Another thing northwest. squad leaders need to start doing is um, getting more ammo crates um, along the perimeter of the blue circle. Same you have back. enough you have enough uh, construction have to get north. five more ammo crates. So on this blue circle is the buildable area. You can put stuff like emplacements or walls or sandbags or uh, ammo crates. So if you're Close to the flag, try to put ammo crates either on the flag or to the direction that enemies are coming from so that your infantry can keep resupplying instead of running all the way back to the half. I hear a lodging northeast. So whenever hearing a lodgy, you need to keep pushing wherever the lodgies go. Uh, maybe they're setting up another half. Lodgy on the east side of the train depot. That flat sound is the AK noise, so that's why I turned around. Do not give up, do not give up. So, spawn under siege. Um, that means at least two enemies are in 20 meters of the hab. And think of like the 360 visual. They don't need to be horizontal. It could be anywhere top or the bottom of the hab. That's the spawn under siege. 20, two guys, 20 meters, and then uh, up to 80 meters for eight guys. Um, if it was the radio health, you would see this down a stage, and then I think whenever the radio is bleeding out, there's like a circle around it, and you'll see it slowly draining the circle, and that's yeah, the bleed out time. Yeah, we have a on the east side of the train, and our Habs overrun. Habs overrun. Down bottom floor, bottom floor, to your east, sudden, sudden to your east, the bottom floor under hab. So the reason I know is only those two guys is because the hab started respawning. That's what that yellow circle is for. Um, if I, if I killed both guys, then it, and they still, it was still like an X. That means there were still more enemies around. They're on the bottom floor under hab. There's one more guy. He's in that room under the hab. So I'm assuming these uh, AT started coming back down because of our spawn under siege. Habs back up. Just respawn there if you need to. And you may get faced in the same situation where you're either on the flank to look for their hab or you have to come and save your radio. It just depends on the situation. So they're taking fire from these four apartment buildings. Um, the most common where infantry will set up in these apartment buildings and shoot into a uh, train. Nade. Sounds Whenever like your... Um, Whenever your squad leader leaves um, and you don't want to be a squad leader, just come to the I believe you could press caps lock or enter, right click, and then you can either disband squad or you can ask uh, people in your squad who wants to be squad leader. Uh, some servers, they will kick you or disband your squad if your squad leader doesn't have the squad leader role. Sounds like they're still on the bottom floor, under hab. So let's look at the map, see what status of other squads. So, you, the only three relevant areas is your attack, your defense, and if you 
know where enemy radio is. Those are the only three relevant areas you need to be on. This old barracks hab, um, if it's not relevant and the enemies know where it is and they're attacking it, just dig it down. That way we don't lose the 20 tickets. Um, not sure what these other squads are doing, if they have lodgies with them or not. But if they were the attacking squads, you need to have a lodgie with you. Uh, if you need to, ask armor to assist you. Get habs set up so that you can start attacking. Rallies, or like uh, this two rally, is not going to help the entire team because it will easily get uh, stomped if a vehicle or infantry just roll past it. Um, also, the hab, of course, the whole team can spam, uh, spawn on the hab. And you could get ammo from the ammo crates. They do have Check a lodgy. They do have a lodgy east on the apartments. There's a lodgy parked on the east side. Got. So like I'm saying, keep spamming your um, your chat, There's your comms. Available. Let people around you know what uh, information you need to pass along. If they if they just assume it's just infantry and no ha enemy have supporting them, then maybe they would have went back to defense flag, but. With them now knowing there's enemy hab to the east, that enemy should be to the east. Um, prioritized. Question from east. Get either a small FT um, fighter team or a squad dedicated to killing that radio. Alright, uh, Bruce, I'm gonna try and get a rally down here. You? Uh, I just saw like three guys come out. So, on Narva, a lot of people like to stick in the buildings and look out and shoot. But I would argue it's best to get some of these guys on the outer part. Um, if you need to um, pull up in a building, get on the outer. Don't just stay right on the flag. Charlie. Loaded. I killed two. There's one more that got away. Oh, I just got hit with a nade. Picking back at it, I should have let this guy heal himself since he's already a medic. And whenever you're looking for, if you know enemies are in the area, you can either go guns blazing and then alert the enemies, or you can be stealthy, try to flank around, look for their hab, and then try to find uh, their radio. Um, our hab. The perimeter. On this east side of apartments, um, the most common area would just be somewhere in the parking lot for a hab, um, somewhere in the castle, or even uh, this far east side. Usually that's the most uh, common hab placements. Yeah, they know I'm up here, so they're gonna like clear me out. There's already one underneath. So trying to listen to the static of the enemy radio or for footsteps. If the enemy doesn't see you and you're trying to be stealthy, don't shoot, give your position away. It's up to you whether you want to go guns blazing or try to find their radio first. Looking back at it, I should have been more stealthy. Just let them uh, walk past me, try to find the radio.
So whenever I saw this guy right here coming from this direction, it gave me the idea that the hab is somewhere near this pond. I'm assuming somewhere in this area the hab or rally would be. So this, um, <clears throat> whenever the map pops up again, I'm assuming somewhere in this area would be the hab. Because usually there would be no infantry just crossing right here. Usually, um, if there would be if it was hab over here, they're crossing over here. Or the castle, they usually cross here or here. Why am I stuck on? If you need to hold bandages, one way you can tell to see if you need to immediately bandage is um, leaning. If your stamina does not come back, you need to bandage immediately. So on the stamina, if it stayed, if I if it went down and it wasn't charging back up, then you need to uh, bandage immediately. Losing apartments. So red icon saying it's being attacked, blue icon is about halfway, that's how you know what the cap status is. You will only know that for your defense flag. The attack flag, uh, people have to give, on the attack flag, the atta people on the flag uh, zone have to call out what the status is. Here, I'm going to call assets and see if they can't find their attack fob. There should be one to my east. So that um, noise right there at the end is a um, rocket being shot too close for arming distance. Each rocket, um, lat and hat have different arming uh, distances. And I believe you can check the uh, squad wiki for that. I believe to the east near that east? lake. Yeah, south of that lake to my east. I'm sure other YouTube videos would also have their arming distance on those tutorial videos for AT. I think somewhere over there they keep coming from the, that area. Oh, it might be in the castle. Yeah, it could be castle. Could also be like so have down either they're on the radio or it's under siege. Like that G five. The squad five able to kill. I'm assuming their west radio. That's south of G five area. That little town. So this uh, little compound right here is common for people to put halves up. Somewhere in those two areas. Yes. I can't find anything. Or even this southern one right here. Uh, Habs overrun. So I'm not sure if a commander is in UAV. When he gets shot, whether he'll get pulled out of the UAV, I'm not sure. But I'm just letting him know. Uh, commanders, if they get killed and they give up, it's two tickets instead of the one ticket for infantry death. Of course, I heard someone bandaging. If there was friendly nearby, friendlies nearby, I would tell them the enemy's bandaging up. Uh, that way, they could push the enemy before he's able to get his gun up. Thank you, Squad Four. So four and five helping on the west side, because without them, this have would keep uh, getting pressed on, and eventually will die. Hey, America. So you need to keep getting uh, fob set up or rallies placed around. So you can keep uh, repelling the attacks. King, how's the north side? Are they pushing yet? Oh shit, he was on there earlier. Keep moving, keep moving. So, I would never try to get a hab on the second floor just for that reason. Apartments shooting through the windows. Um, I believe on the second, um, right under this uh, floor, there is a big enough room for the hab and it is enclosed. Keep moving. There. <laughs> Have. If you're FTL, put sandbags up. If you're FTL, you can put sandbags up. So FTLs are able to put sandbags and walls up, but they are not able to get habs, ammo crates, or placements down, like toes or machine guns. Don't get up. 
get some sandbags up, boys. Oh, why do you assume it? So just keep checking the north, northeast, in case infantries are pushing up on our hab. Try to look the different direction that everyone else is facing. Everyone's facing this uh, flag. Try to look away from the flag that everyone's facing. Er, stop. Blech. Look away from where everyone else is facing in case enemies are flank flanking you. Whenever you need to pick up people and they're clustered dead, try to ask them what killed them so you don't get killed by either the same infantry that killed you or that killed them or an explosion. I give up. Is it safe to get y'all? No, it is not. Uh, don't mean infantry in no. Northeast Field. I just got lit up by three. West people. building. That's north. There is building. Behind this Amtrak. He's behind the Amtrak. Southwest behind the Amtrak. I can't see shit. I'm fucking dying. Okay, Amtrak die. Amtrak is dead. If you see a cluster of dead people, try to find the other medic first. Pick up the medic first. Usually they would have the uh, insignia or on their uh, shoulder or whatever. The or they would have like a, a, a med bag on their waist. No, I keep picking them off on my one. If you're, if you're already full health, Not you need to push. Damage. If you're already oh, full health, you need to push. Let the yeah, medics do their job. Them. So the reason I let the other medics do it because there's already three or four medics there. Don't cluster. Don't Maybe as medics can. cluster together in case a uh, frag rocket or GL kills you or a vehicle. Spread out as medics. Dude shooting through fucking walls or something. Must be northeast. So pretty much the only open space would be the northeast side or towards the southeast side. Must be, yeah, east side, east side. East, 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 look east. My idea was try to dance around um, so the enemy wouldn't be able to kill us. I'm dead, dead. That's... So what yeah, that guy shoot. said was dead, dead. I was not able to give one, him 100% health. I was not able for him to get 100% health. That's why when he got shot once, he died instantly and... Was not able to get picked up again. East, east, east. Look. Should have told him to get up and try running towards the wall away from their east. line of sight. I'm dead, dead. Let's go. They're shooting from observe. Depressing. So there we go. Um. The stamina started coming back, that's how you can tell how close to death you were. If you used up your stamina and it wouldn't charge. Hold on, clap, let me heal you. Where are you at? Uh, behind the wall. Enemy Bob and G4, G, G5, G5 to our east. So, just seeing that on the map, if you're going to leave uh, the old defense flag, dig down the radios so that the enemies don't, uh, we don't lose 20 tickets. Okay, enemy have marked accurate to the far east. Do not give up. Medic's on his way.
So again, back on defense, you want to get your prim your uh, perimeter set up again. Don't look into the flag, look outwards. Find wherever the infantry are coming from. Um, if you hear a vehicle, call it out to your Better squad leader so you can give it to other squad leader information. Slowly. Let me load and then it will blow, uh, cut it. If you have not done already, um, on your keyboard, you have your Q and E. Um, default, I believe this is your left lean and this is your right lean. Um, switch them. That way, when you uh, lean with your Q, you're actually right now. And that way, when you press uh, D, D with uh, Q, then you're, you're moving to the right and you're leaning to the right. So by default, Q is left, E is right, so switch it up. So when you're clearing a building, you can, uh, whatever way you're uh, leaning, is also where you're walking oh, towards. There ain't shit. What the fuck? That's Southwest shooting. What the fuck was I hearing? Oh, infantry 300. So on the map, no, that three. radio was what going down or the HAV just being overrun. That's Southwest shooting. What the fuck was I hearing? Just an indicator that you got infantry coming on this northwest side. Oh, infantry! Three, and of three. course, if you had a friendly rally and that you noticed that rally uh, went away, uh, enemy went through that area. Damn, that guy has movement behind the white van. Three ten. That's northwest. As well. Healing up. No, save your bandage. I got you, I got you. Okay. These north apartments. So the reason I said that, um, I have extra bandages as medic. Let him save his two uh, bandages unless he reused the one. Yep. I'm gonna black oh, back off. Great. He can keep his gun up while you heal them. They're running up on us, isn't, aren't they? Most likely they will. Oh, that was you. Holy shit, I was shitting bricks. So that's further uh, that's north like, uh, northeast-ish. Somewhere, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming somewhere right here. You just have to give estimate Let's... by the sound of their just gotta smoke it. We gotta smoke it. And then head to the west. Yeah. This fuck cocksucker. There's an infantry push on the north of apartments near the soccer field. If we had people in this north apartment right here, easily can look into the north side. One more, one more. Oh. Got him. Clear. Nice. I'm gonna bleed out before I could get myself. Uh, nice try. Yep. Nice try. Be careful, they're coming on northwest and north apartments. So, whenever okay. going down, I can see there's two friendly medics that could pick us up. So, wait for medics or other teammates to pick you up. I, I... You can also give information if you hear. Uh, footsteps or vehicles coming. They're yeah, you got him. I'm gonna. Oh. If someone's going to pick you up, use the local chat to warn them what killed you and what direction they came from. Be careful, the northeast is a GL towards the soccer field. There was a GL towards the soccer field northeast as well. 
whenever you hear Artie. Um, Thank you. You would need to get inside hardcover, either a building, and then get away from the door because the explosion will have a um, line of sight in the building. So get away from the door and the windows. Artie, um, example, if it was this kind of circle, you would have to get a little outside. Let me redraw it. If the RD symbol came up like this, you would need to get about 100 or so meters away from it because it does splash outside of that yellow circle. RD, RD, get inside. We may die here. Get inside quickly, get inside. Go north, go north. Start heading north. Get up, let's go north. Do you have ammo back? Ammo bag, uh... So, in your audio settings, uh, I would recommend turning down your volume to maybe 80 or so percent just because RD like this um, kind of like uh, deafens you. So, go ahead, turn down your audio settings for this game. I don't have a band aid. You have ammo here, bag in there? Uh, here. Here, yes, yeah. Whenever resupplying from ammo bag or ammo crate, um, it is a laggy menu. Uh, you could misfire, so switch to a bandage or some other uh, kit, um, like a knife or something, and so you don't get the misfire or just uh, click slowly. Thank you. Is that enemy footsteps going slow? Oh, no, that's blueberry. So that was a misfire right there. Sorry, I tried to pick it up. And of course, what I'm doing is I'm trying to look for whatever possible rally or have that they keep pushing from. If you're able to find their hab, example, if the hab was right here, um, even if you die, you can still give the SL or squad leader to put the uh, mark on it. And then that way, whenever you respawn or if there was another respawn somewhere else, you can attack it from a different angle instead of keep pushing from the same hab. So just looking for listening for footsteps in case the half is over here or for the radio static. Sounds like a BTR coming on the southwest side. Uh, yep, it is a BTR. So I've been told. BTR coming on the uh, train now. Yep, apartments on north of apartments, main road. Heading east towards train. So keep spamming your uh, information out to the squad leader so you get other um, armor no or other uh, SLs no. Yeah, BTR is near medic on the north side now. He's on the soccer field. Okay, my headshots are not counting as headshots. This is like the third one this match. Yeah, bro, I get that too. I bro, I almost feel like you have to hit them in the head. I don't think face shots count, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
I, like trying to attack fucking people, bullshit. it's so weird. Tell squad night BTR on like, the north. Yeah. So, in my opinion, it's it would be easier for armor to be dedicated as their own vehicle. Example I'm trying to say is if Squad 9 had a two BTRs, or in our instance, two labs, he had one lab on apartment, just say the other lab towards roundabout. If I told Squad Leader to tell Squad 9 um, there's a BTR to his north, and then it would be difficult to know, like, um, let that uh, 9 leader know, is it north of his vehicle or north of his other lab? And so, in my opinion, It'd be better if each uh, vehicle had their own squad. So, if, example, this one was actually squad A. You could say, "Hey, squad A to your west, squad nine to your north." So squad nine, just to make it easier. Coming inside now. So, squad nine is behind them. He's inside now. Oh, ten oh, tickets. Yeah. Oh, what? Damn. Oh, wow. Good, Good job, job, guys. Get Good job. some gamer hours. So. Yeah. Good shit. I'm not sure nope. whether we were even able to get attack cabs up. I think there was one on the north. I think uh, that got killed. And I don't think they tr even tried to get another one set up. But if you're going to do full defense, you need to, as squad leaders, y'all need to communicate that. Or um, if you're going to keep attacking, you need to get armor support. <laughs> So you can try to get that uh, attack flag instead of having one, even two halves on the defense and keep getting attacked and pressed on from all these different angles. Um, if we're going to do full defense, have a squad dedicated on the flag, have other squads dedicated around the flag if the whole team was going to do full defense.